Now, you've seen Jillian Fortner rising to the Hot Air Balloon Festival earlier. Now, Jillian is back with a new Sky Partner. Yes, well, right now we are still at Jewel Elementary, but as you can see, we have some light now. It was really dark when I first came on this morning, and now we see some people are coming in. They're still setting up, and we are also seeing that some uh, members of the community are sitting here to watch. They got their jackets, they got their blankets, and their breakfasts. It's, it's still a pretty cold morning. Can Honestly, my hands are a little bit uh, chilly right now as well, but I do have a guest here with me. Where is he at? Darren right here. He is the director of Balloons Over Bend. So, Darren, I want to know, how long have you been doing this now? Uh, including today? Yeah. About 30 years. 30 years? <laughs> balloons Over Bend has been around? Oh, well, bal Balloons Over Bend, we're on our 20th year, I think. Yeah. Wow, 20th year. So, I want to know, too, how did you get involved into this hot air balloon industry? Um, well, yeah, uh, flying balloons, I, I've been doing that for about 30 years now, and um, I was always really interested in aviation growing up, thought I was going to be an airline pilot or something like that, and uh, ended up getting into ballooning through a good friend of mine that I went to school with. He had gotten into it through his parents, and so it kind of started there and uh, just kept at it. Yeah, did you start here in Bend, or did you start somewhere else? Uh, I first started flying balloons in Montana, actually, uh, northwest Montana near Glacier Park. And uh, I've been here flying balloons for about the last 24 years or so. Oh, wow. So I was wondering, too, if someone wanted to become a balloon pilot, what kind of requirements are there to do that? Yeah, so very similar to getting, like, an airplane rating. Um, it is all done through the FAA and regulated by the FAA, so... Uh, very similar kind of process. You have an instructor that you get your flight time instruction with, and then you take a uh, written exam and a check ride with an FAA examiner and everything. And uh, if you do well there, you get your ticket to uh, fly balloons. Nice. So I know, I think this was the location last year too, right? Jewel Elementary. Yeah. So why did we pick this location? I'm curious. Is it the perfect spot for flying? Um, it is a good spot because it is over on the um, east side of town with all the development in Bend over the past several years. Um, landing sites have gotten fewer and further between. And so uh, the winds generally take us to the east or northeast out of here where we do get a little more open areas and places to land. Uh, they generally kind of take us out towards the airport, the Bend Airport. Nice. Well, I know you're really busy, so I'm going to let you go. And I'm going to send it back to you guys, but don't worry, I'll be back in just a bit.